And now we return to Thailand for the final time for the climax of the World Championship meeting, the final leg of the Touring Car World. The third and deciding leg then, Hara at the front of the grid in pole position. Another win here and it's all down to him. Reinhard there in second place with a fifth and a second. Ronald Volker not out of it either, a second and a third, but really needs a win if he's going to go any further towards winning this championship. Victor Wilke, well, it's not going to be his championship this year. In fifth place, Hirosaka. What can he do with a first and a fourth? Sixth position, Andy Moore, seventh and fifth. Not even the best of the Brits at the moment. That acc accolade goes to the 15-year-old Elliot Harper with a great third in the first leg, backing that up with a sixth position in the last heat. In eighth, Local Thai driver, Main V, he won't be on the podium for the overalls. Ninth, Matsusaki Hiyoto and Gilles Grosskamp at the back for the Netherlands. So this is it, it comes down to this race. Andy Moore almost urging his car forward before even we get the go signal. And Hara leads away. There's all kinds of carnage in behind him, but the first three have got away clean. Hara, Reinhard and Volker. Victor Vilkas already dropped back a couple of places there. So he was involved again in that early... That's a great camera position there. Really see the speed. 62 and a half miles an hour on the speed gun going into that first corner. That's a scale speed of over 620 miles an hour. That's why these guys are so good, because their reflexes have to be absolutely sharp. And they're not on their own, as you can see. The leaders into the infield. Reinhardt can still win this World Championship. He's telling Nick Damon that he was... Thought he was out of it, and that he was really racing for second, but... A win in this final heat, and the world would be his. So whether he is going to drive the conservative race, Carl wasn't really set up to his liking in leg two, but this looks better for the German. He's really hassling Hara, isn't he? Hot bodies leading from Tamir in second. And we know that Reinhardt can get just a little bit testy if he feels he's being held up. Not frightened of getting a bit physical with the nose of his car. That was the point there in that infield section in the first leg where... He put the Japanese driver on his roof. And Reinhardt is right in the wheel tracks of Atsushihara. Very strong through here, the German. Likes the technical part of this course. A lot of drivers seeing this rather too much braking for their liking. But it has, I think, been a very successful layout. Certainly we've had some cracking racing here. And Reinhardt, look how quick he is there. He's keeping the power on so late. Riding the kerbs, risking getting the car sideways. This is the battle for the lead. Can't get any closer than that. Tremendous stuff. And Reinhardt just deciding that for that moment, discretion was the better part of Valor. Coming down to two and a half minutes to run. And the leaders have been locked together from the start of this race. And Sushihara with a first and a fourth position. Mark Reinhardt with a fourth, uh, with a fifth, excuse me, oh, and a second, and he just gets up the inside. The crowd reaction was all you needed to hear there. That was very close to an action replay of what happened in the first heat between these two guys when they were battling for the lead. Reinhardt, though, managed to back out of it enough to give the leader a sporting chance there. Good driving by the German. But you can't deny that through those twisties, the German looks quick out. He's trying even to shortcut. And again, there's a collective intake of breath from the very knowledgeable crowd here. And he's down the inside and almost alongside for a moment. Reinhardt's got the quicker car. No doubt in my mind about that now that the German has got the quicker car, but at the moment he just can't take advantage of it. Great driving by Hara ahead of him. The key here for the Japanese driver is not to buckle under the pressure. He's got to just drive his own lines and try 
to keep his concentration then it's all down to Reinhard in second there to make the move there's all kinds of battles going on further down the field but I daren't take my eyes off the lead again locked together first to the left then to the right Reinhardt's down the inside he's through he's through and just listen to the crowd you heard what they thought now let's have a look at this again that's right at the end of the manoeuvre down the inside well you know what it's a bit robust but side to side contact not too bad at all I think Reinhardt had the corner there and he managed to hold on to it. Oh, there's the mistake from Hara in second place. He's added up back on his wheels. Well, that's just remarkable. Let's have another look here. Reinhardt, well, in fact, Reinhardt leaves a gap there. And I wonder, I'm, I'm going to take that back. I don't think that was a mistake by Atsushi Hara. I think he saw the gap. There's, look, you see the leader's gone a bit onto the curb, leaves the inside open. Hara thinks he can make it but just misjudges the end of the curve, which sends him flying. Coming into the last half a minute of racing, and Mark Reinhardt, the German, has driven an absolutely immaculate race, put pressure on Paul Mann at Sushihara right from the start of the race. Found his way through into the lead. Robust, yes, but legal as well, I'm sure. The crowd loving the early part of this race. And then Hara looking for the gap down the inside to retake the victory. Just slightly misjudged on that red and white curb right in front of us now. And that is going to allow the German, Mark Reinhardt, to come through for victory. Well, the margin here looks big. But I would say that's probably one of the best, if not the best, world championship races ever. Mark Reinhardt taking the congratulations. So here is the result of the third leg. What an astonishing weekend of racing. Mark Reinhardt wins it by a second and a half from Ronald Volker in second. Victor Wilk come back up into third place ahead of Elliot Harper, who adds a fourth place to his third in the first heat. Atsushi Hara down in fifth. Bad news for him because when we look at the overall standings, well, we've already called Mark Reinhardt as the first ever double world champion. The German with a first and a second. Volker with two seconds is in second place overall. Nice bit of symmetry there for him. And quite amazingly, Hirosaka in third place with a first and a fourth. Edges out Hara of the overall top three. But what about this story? In fifth position overall on the final standings, Elliot Harper with a third and a fourth place from a championship where he was only coming to have a little look and gain a bit of experience. Marvellous stuff. It's an excellent shampoo, Mark. Um, I don't know what to say. You told us you were going to be conservative. You weren't. You are world champion. The first person to retain it. How do you feel? I feel super great now. It was a hard fight in the last final. Everything could happen. How it was on the pace of the world champion and I think he deserved the same as me and it's shit that he dropped back to force. I feel sorry for him because I think he was, him, him and me were pretty close all the time so I feel sorry for him but it was pretty good. How did you feel when you realised on the roster that you'd won? Yeah, it felt awesome. I mean, when I passed him and I was a little bit struggling onto the straight but then he, he flipped over so I was a little bit free so I could cruise around the last two or three laps and uh, yeah I'm super happy. Mark, brilliant well done, thank you Richie. At Sushi it can be a cruel game can't it because one little flip and you not only didn't win the world championship but you weren't even on the podium. Yeah, I try, I try to keep front of him but he was pretty fast and uh, he passed me and uh, I tried to pass him again but a little too much inside and a crash but I tried to best so I'm not disappointed this race. Despite that, you've had a fantastic year, haven't you? Yeah, very much. Very much a fantastic race this month. I hope we... I try to for the next ones. Thanks. Thank you. Second in the World Championship. You must be completely delighted. Yeah, we're really happy with my podium. Uh, wasn't sure if I make, can make it before the Worlds, and now I was competitive and really happy to have a podium. Yeah.